up, guys? I'm not gonna stay on for very long on here because I'm gonna come back on later to record, but I figured I'd let you guys know what's going on. I'm gonna be doing an interview with one of the band members later. I'm at a show right now. So my friend Becky invited me. She's right there trying to get merch. Say hi. Yeah, so there's a bunch of people out here right now because one of the bands just finished playing, but I'll come back later when they're ready for it. Because I, I think they still have to perform and stuff, so uh, they, they're not going to do it now, but after the show. I just figured I'd give you an update. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Everyone leaving. The show just ended, so I figured I'd start the live stream up because now there's not going to be a bunch of music in the background. So we can people watch now. Is everyone sleeping? Is it too late for everyone to be up on stream right now? They're doing their merch sales now, but I guess after that we'll get people. Oh, hey. Hi, <laughs> say hi to everyone. Right. Hi. 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 Alright, I'm gonna make her nervous with the camera now. How long do you think till they come out and then they'll come talk on camera with us? Okay, are you gonna be there too and be on camera? I can be there. Alright. But then it might be a little awkward. That's okay, that's the point. I'm supposed to make things awkward by shoving cameras in people's faces. Right. So I'm saying it might be longer than if Oh, I'm longer? There. Okay, that's fine. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. So we'll have to wait for you too. Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, you're gonna take your time and make things difficult on me. Time. I see how it is. Did you drop something? Oh, right there. there it yeah, it's right there on the ground. You're good. Look at this place. It's awesome. This place is huge. These ceilings are like super tall. Here, I'm gonna go walk around and hopefully they don't stop me with the camera. I wanna see what it looks like at the top. Look at this ceiling. It's like stars. And then I guess there's like a huge balcony too. All the way up at the top. It's pretty cool. I like the way they have all this set up. All the detail and stuff. Where are we? We're at the Civic Center. I guess that's the way to the balcony up there. Yeah, it does look churchy, doesn't it? Who's playing? I wrote it all in the description. Yeah, she's working with uh, Tantric and Soil doing their merch, and then Puddle of Mud's over there across the way. That's their merch booth there. I was talking to a lady here too a little bit earlier, and she owns another venue um, in another town, and she was telling me that I can come over to her venue probably and like talk to some other bands or some of the events that she has on there so that'll be kind of cool you know I was telling her about the, the channel and everything I'm just waiting I guess we're, we'll try to find like a quiet spot or something you know are you keeping busy yeah yes doing your job doing your gerb yeah I just wanted to wait till they were all done because the music was like super loud we wouldn't have been able to hear anything anyway so yeah I don't know like if they're gonna really want to do the interview or anything but we'll wait when they come out here we'll talk to them and see if they do you guys can think of some questions if you want to ask anything and uh, and we'll see what comes up in the chat just don't be rude okay I know how some of you guys are always trying to start trouble I gotta move the camera so I don't get accidental upskirt yeah hey what was your name again? Come talk. Look, I got the stream on. Come say hi to all my people. Oh, I will. Hi, people. <laughs> She's own, you own the venue, right? No, not this one. I no, Muddy not Creek this Saloon. one, but the other. I own Muddy Creek Saloon. And what kind of bands play there? Uh, we go from everything to Saliva, Tantry, Molly Hatchet, on down to country, like uh, Jason Michael Carroll. Are had... you mad that they're playing here now and not your venue? No, I love them. <laughs> I will follow them to the ends of the earth. All these guys, every band on this show tonight has played for me except for Soil. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Really Tell cool. them what you said you do for all the bands when they come in. Oh, for my traveling bands that come in, I read the rider. And I make sure that you're taken care of. You will eat and you will have 9 volt batteries. <laughs> you will be able to and go birds. home. And ferns. If you request yeah, a fern, ferns. you will get a fern. Yeah. So, yes. If you guys need any flowers, just go on tour. Exactly. And ask go them on tour. Come to the Creek Saloon. I will take care of you 110%. So, 
So yeah, that's what we do. All right, thanks. <laughs> Maybe we'll come up by there sometime and we'll talk. That would be fantastic. Cool. I appreciate that. Right. <laughs> nice talking to you. Ready to do an interview? Yeah. Jared? Let's chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where should we go somewhere? You want to just chill here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an idea. Come on. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Nice and quiet. You want to go down more? Here's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Is it? See, more... we we this are. place is so nice. Man. Awesome. I love it. I love playing old theater. They're usually not like kept this clean. And I got internet signal up here, which is yeah. awesome. The future's here. Oh, look at these chairs. Oh, They're sick. So what's up? Just got done playing. Hustling some merch. Tell these guys what band you're in and what you do. Tantric. Uh, I play bass. Cool, I play bass too. Right now, what do you like to play? What do you mean? Kind of bass. Oh, I had plays for Schechter now. Nice. That's the last the last company that was sponsoring me. I was with BC Rich before that. Nice. For like a few years. I have tons of BC Riches. Yeah, I got a couple of customs from them, which was awesome. And then uh, they let go of their artist rep and ended up switching to Schechter sure. and everything. Who, who are you playing now? Uh, usually I just use my Fenders. Oh, cool. I'm not hooked up with them or anything. Um, I got an Ibanez little thing going on, but. So, how long are you guys on tour for? <sighs> Um, like 10 months this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, we had And now uh, it's like close to being done? Or? Uh, so this run with Puddle of Mud and Saliva and Soil and eventually the Beer Union comes in. Um, it goes till September, I think, 15th. Oh, cool. Um, but then, uh, Tantra goes out, uh, in support of our new record, Mercury Retrograde. It's coming out on the 5th of October and we pretty much start then and go almost to the end of November. Oh, nice. Uh, and then we have dates in December as well, so... You guys going to Europe and all that, or did you I'm already do Europe? I'm dying to go to Europe, man. I'm <laughs> dying to go to Europe. I really want to go to Japan. Um, we're, we're trying to work it out. We're trying to bring a package similar to this. So we'll see. I was telling Becky a funny story that I went to the NAMM convention, but it was the one in Tennessee, not the one in L.A. Yeah. And um, you, you guys were on, uh, like, the DJ was playing... And there was all these people drunk and dancing and stuff. I was videotaping. I had a, another channel called Hardcore Mayhem. It was kind of like Jackass, but just a bunch of crazy stuff, sure. like behind scenes with the tour, you know, and band stuff or whatever. But the the guys were like dancing to the music. And then all of a sudden, some girl, like the, the guy was dancing with, was completely plastered and passed out like mid-dance and smashed her head against the floor. And I got it all on tape. Like oh. I, I put it up on the channel and stuff. That's but, during a tantric playing? Yeah, wow. I, I think so. I, I remember it, about right. it was it was like tantric and soil and all the puddle of mud. All these bands were being played on the radio because it, it was like a Schechter party. Yeah. Um, they were doing like a Jägermeister party, sponsored party. So it was free for everyone at the yeah. bar to just drink all they want I told her i was going to show you guys but when i was watching back i remember i had to change the song and put copyright free music because i don't have permission yeah so unfortunately the video that's up online doesn't have the actual song <laughs> So, um, anything crazy like happened on this tour yet? Or man, yeah, uh, airlines lost both of my bases, oh, and not only lost it, but now that they found it, they can't figure out how to get it to me. It's been because uh, you're on the road, so it's hard. Not to even that. It's just that nobody. It's Frontier. It's a horrible yeah. airline. I've had a million horrible experiences, but I don't. They're like from to talk. Colorado, right? I think so. I don't like to talk trash about companies. I've had a bad experience every single time and never said anything. And now they've lost my bases. And oh, now that awful. they found it, they want us to come back to Dallas to pick them up ourselves. They won't send it to me. It's yeah. crazy. It's and they bizarre. make you like show your ID and all this crap too, right? It's beyond that. I have like claims out and stuff now. But either way, they say I was supposed to have it today. It didn't come. Now they're saying Saturday. But you know, like you know, like yeah, you said, we're yeah. in a different place every day. It's hard. But, yeah, I uh, had a show in Cali where they lost my luggage and that had all my stage clothes. And I don't play like this. Yeah. I play with full makeup yeah, yeah. and everything. So, like, my boots, all that stuff is all missing. Luckily, they got it to me, like, the day of the show. I had uh, to go to the airport and pick it up. <laughs> Joe, what's going on? They are received. We apologize for the inconvenience. What happened? Thank you for your patience. 
The following information will help you access TSA information and forms. They stole my belt buckle. Why the f did they do that? See. Really? They stole your belt buckle. It's fing two in the morning and my luggage is still not here. Airport I don't want it mailed to me. I want you to personally fing deliver it to me. Please press 2. You may contact us by email through the website at www. Rich, what do you think about all this? America! Fuck yeah! I would prefer for you to please email it to me. And what about my bag? How? Um, I, you want, you ready? I can... Yeah, they, they put it on the wrong plane. They just put it on the wrong plane. They, they decided oh, okay. to put our bags on the wrong plane. And... Alright, but I just heard something. Right. So you think why? it's okay to put our bags on the wrong plane? Why, why is that common though? I, I, I just want to know, like, why is that common? Because that's kind of messed up for bags to just kind of be put on the wrong plane. Sir, I, I don't want to hear like, so I couldn't tell you. Oh. That's because you're a fucking nah. Dude, you, that was unnecessary, man. I could have kept the conversation going and gotten it better. They like shipped it back out to me, but it was luckily I had that extra. It's a nightmare. Thing. Yeah, it's a nightmare when you don't have the stuff you need for stage. Yeah. I've had like all these weird nightmares of where like I'm on stage and then I don't have anything. Yeah. You start freaking out. You ever get any of those? Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like um, toy I'm dreams. living it right now with no bases. I've been using. Uh... Saliva was nice enough. Uh, I mean, like, literal dreams. Have you ever had like, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm dreaming, like, oh, man, what if this ever happened? And now, now I'm oh, living now it. I'm like, happening. what the hell? That's up. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, as far as crazy stuff, I mean, nothing too crazy yet. It's, it's also early, though, you know? What's your favorite song to play live? I really like playing Astounded, I think. Yeah? Why is that? Because um, the vocals are, like, they have to be dialed in. And, like, you know, sometimes if I'm not having a great day and I, I got to hit this high note and it's, like, the days that I can that you I do nail backup? it, I do. The days that I can hit it, like the whole rest of the show goes great. And like some days, you know, I'm not too confident on it. It'll yeah. be okay, but like, I still, I'm like, oh man, like I'll just look over at Sebastian, our guitar player, and he'll just give me the wink. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, I love playing that song, man. The fans love it, and uh, I don't know something about it. It's special. Have you uh, gotten sick at all on tour yet? Uh, yeah, we uh, started this tour two weeks ago now. And uh, we had some Texas dates booked previously to this run. Um, and then uh, last weekend, we literally left the tour to fly to Texas to headline for two days. And that flight down on Frontier, I got it was freezing cold. We're going to Texas. We're like, I'm not bringing a jacket. Yeah. And we get in the plane. Dude, I was so cold. I was sick by the time we got there. Sick the whole time. I was miserable. Got back on the run uh, like two days later. Was still sick. No bases either. And... Uh, but as soon as I got back to Iowa, we were good. Does that ever bother you when you're trying to hit that note? <laughs> yeah, it's, it was <laughs> one of the nights. Up. Both of those nights, I was so worried. I'm like, oh, I don't even have a voice. I was all raspy. It sounded like I had allergies. Yeah. And uh, I've been there. Because but... I do the same now. I, I started doing vocals like a few years ago. Yeah. But before that, I never did. And then like we wrote a couple new albums where we had all these backups. I'm like, yeah, I'll try it out. And it was fun up until the days where you get sick and you're it's like. It's a challenge. <laughs> Especially like tantric vocals are all very clean and like. There are a lot of harmonies. I don't know anything yeah. about harmonies. <laughs> Can't sing good. I could just yell, you know. So it's like to to be able to finally sing a little bit after playing with these guys is nice. It's a, it's always a challenge and something to try to always up a little bit. Have you been with them since the beginning? No, I I joined last July. Oh, okay. So it's been a year, nice. a little over a year now. The whole band is brand new. Uh, Troy uh, joined when I did last year, and Sebastian came in in January, and Hugo obviously he's been in since day one. Um, but yeah, the band is solid. Everybody's excited. You know, we're not looking to do you know a lot of member changes and um, everyone's so, getting along and all that stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. Cool. It's important. Yeah. Do you guys have all pets and stuff back at home too? Uh, Anything crazy? Troy does. Uh, I don't know if Sebastian does. He might have like a family cat or something. Hugo, I don't think has any. Um, I do. I do have a puppy at home. Yeah. What kind? Uh, a cockapoo. Yeah. Yeah. I have uh, most of the stuff on my channel uh, started coming up because I've always worked with exotic animals too. So I've had like pet foxes and all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah. And right now I'm actually living with a big wolf dog. Right. And, on. Uh, and everybody here is like saying, well, ask him, what's his favorite animal? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to think about him. You know, it's like, uh, luckily my stepdaughters are taking care of him. <laughs> that place looks like a mansion or a mason lodge. That's what they oh, said. Mason. Yeah, it kind of does actually. Yeah, this is a bizarre spot. The, the theater room alone is like, 
breath taking away. You're just like, wait, what? Who painted this and how long did it yeah, take? Yeah, I went over there to go film the ceiling and everything. I saw all those stars and stuff. Yeah. That must look sick off the stage, right? Yeah. No, dude, I was looking out because like, usually you look out and people have their cell phone lights on. But this yeah. is like a big almost dome room and then to see the ceiling, I was like, wait, they have like, star like you know those little star stickers you put on your ceiling as a kid? I'm thinking, yeah. like, no, that's that, but it's... But they're lights. Totally. Yeah. It was, it was cool. It was cool to see. It's nice the way they set it up. Yeah. Have, have you been um, touring and stuff before this yeah, band? Yeah. What bands did you play um, with? I played with an Australian band called Delacoma. Um, I have four bands at home. Uh, I played with Charm City Devils. Um, this is with them. Uh, my band Mach 22 at home. I front a trio. Where's that? Uh, Where's home? Oh, okay. So. so you're not that far right now? No, no. Uh, we're heading close to there tomorrow, so hopefully my stuff shows up. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I've been playing out, and I started out in thrash and death metal bands when I was in my teens, um, and we would tour two, three weeks at a time, Texas. Yeah, so you've been doing it a while. Yeah, man, and uh, I tell you what, I'm not happier anywhere else. I mean, this is this is the place to be, and uh, I'm, I'm happy even even on the tough days, you know. The yeah, there's a lot of people drives. here too, so it, it seems like the tour is doing pretty nice, right? Dude, if there's one person here, I'm gonna enjoy it just as much. I just like playing, you know. Nice, man. I appreciate you taking the time yeah, to you. chat on video and stuff yeah, with man. me. I, I've been trying to do some extra stuff with the channel because I always try to do something different. Like I said, most of the stuff that brought my channel up to the numbers it's at now is with the animal stuff. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, my whole life before all of this was um, just doing music and touring and yeah. know, I've done so many crazy things. So I'm like, I don't want to just have like a channel about one thing. I want to yeah, do everything absolutely. that's just my life and yeah. the craziness and around it. People tune in because it's you doing it. Man. Yeah. yeah, and like I don't really do all the crazy stuff I used to do before with all the partying. Yeah. So I'm like, I just want to like hang out and chat with people and it's see nice what everybody's way to doing. Get entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like it's always something different. That's what I like about tour. You you show up to some places like a fair or you're playing somebody's like field somewhere and it's just like. <laughs> Where else do you get the chance to like drive a tractor or like you know right. it's just like and then the next night you're in some like Detroit slum and you're in the hood you're like wait what I was just like having cowboy boots on two days ago. How do you feel when you get back home from all of it? I hate going home, dude. Me I too. hate going home because you know what I know what's at home. I know what the couch feels like. I know what the TV looks like. I'd rather be finding some something new and meeting new people. It's also it's like. It's that transition from you wake up with your four best friends every single day and you're just fuck, like fucking have a great time chilling, rolling somewhere, and then you wake up at home and you're in your bed by yourself or whatever, yeah. and you're like, "Wow, well, what do I do now?" You know, I always like, called it uh, tour withdrawals because you get home and you're just it. like depressed for like a month straight, yeah. just because you you got this high of everybody. You're like a rock star and then you're yeah. normal person again yeah. overnight, and that's a weird transition for a human. It's like, not even like. It's not even like really that. It's more just like you ha you're constantly entertained on the road because you are faced with interacting with fans. You're at the merch. You're right. getting your guitar ready. That's what I mean. Like you yeah. have so much going on, and then totally it's just totally turned totally off bad. instantly. Yeah. Like bizarre. Nothing. And yeah, it's a, it was a weird thing for me when I went back home because of the fact that I had a regular job, like yeah. a regular day job. So I would have to go home and then sleep, and then the next morning I was right at work after coming. In, through this huge tour. I trust me, I did yeah. it for a long time, man. Yeah. Ten, 10 plus years, uh, full-time job and tried to tour. The so. worst for me was we played in um, uh, Summer Breeze Festival in okay. Germany, and it was like oh. Cannibal Corpse and Sepultura, like yeah. all these huge bands. And I got home from that, and I'm just like, I do not want to be here. Because you see Dude. like this sea of people. It's like a religion. Badass there, festival, yeah. What was your band called that you were playing with over there? Dead Star Assembly. Nice. Yeah, and, that, and I have a bunch of my videos on the channel too that I, I put, but it's everything separated by playlists so I can do all these different categories of things, you know? Cool. Do you write your own stuff outside I of I do. Band? I have uh, three bands at home outside of Tantric that I play and write with, um, and I love it. They're all different, but not too far off the spectrum. Just all, all rock? Stuff, sort of one is more like aggressive metal ish rock, one's more like 70s classic rock, one's more like stoner. Like they're all different in their own unique ways, but you, you know, it's I have to be into it. That's my rule. I'll play with anybody as long as I'm into what we're doing, right? But uh, the stuff that I personally write is for my trio called On Top, and it's like people tell me it's like Rage Against the Machine meets Iron Maiden. Oh, nice, it's just like got that attitude, but. You know, it's like a very 80s inspired guitar shit going on. So. Have you ever been to Rock and Roll Ribs in Florida? I have not, but I'm looking forward to going. You know what that is, right? Nico's? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, when I was 15 years old, I used to play in this band called The Sod. We used to rent out this little studio space in like Coral Springs in yeah. Florida. And Nico used to keep his drums there in one of the rooms. So he used to come in and watch through the window with us performing. And I would like lose my shit because I'm like, oh my God, this is like Iron Maiden. Yeah, yeah. Like here just watching us. And I ended up becoming friends with him over time because he didn't live too far from me. He opened up Rock and Roll Ribs. And one night, uh, one year, he threw me my birthday party there. Came oh, and, like, yeah. saying happy birthday to me and stuff. I was like, that's rock yeah. man dude if you had anybody from Iron Maiden acknowledging you I'd be like yeah hey, I'm the man what's up dude it's awesome he's got like a bunch of stage props there and then there's I food's saw a amazing the room. yeah the food's all good like definitely worth checking it out yeah I, that's on my list I have a few like food spots like when I go on tour I'm like if I go anywhere within a reasonable distance to this place I'm getting there somehow where are you playing in Florida um Daytona Sebastian any Fort Lauderdale I think like Daytona is the closest. So yeah, that's, that's not going to be near. Oh, right. It's all right. Uh, we'll get down there. The, the Ribs place. I know. It's kind of a few This is the first back. time Tantric's been in Florida when I've been in the band. Um, but we, we tour so much that oh, I'm sure we'll get chances to go. Cool, man. Well, definitely nice chatting with you. you. I appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, man. We'll see if uh, if the other dude's ready, if he wants to chat. Yeah. Anything you're looking forward to, though, on, uh, on this run? Like any cool venues? Any other ones that you guys are playing? Uh, well, I really want to go to North and South Dakota. Finally got there. Um, oh, what's there? Uh, Sturgis. Uh, it was just a big motorcycle rally. It wasn't that cool. Oh, okay. Uh, we kind of let down. Uh, but North Dakota was cool. But uh, I'll tell you what, man. I'm, just, I'm happy to just be going with yeah, the guys. Yeah, for real, right? Yeah, I love being out with my boys because everybody just has fun. Like, it's not a band. There's no drama yeah, in the band. That's how it is with us. So that's why it lasted 16 years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are you packing up now? Yeah. Packing up, packing in. Packing in. Doing your job, your derb. See if I fall off of here. Am I in your way? No. Oh, well, I should probably stand up and get in your way then. So, um... Are you trying to hide from the camera? Yeah. Okay. What's up? That's okay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sleepy. Yeah, it's not. No, it's fine. Look, this is beef. He hey, what's up? Hi, do? I'm Dro. What's going on? Um, I was just telling him that you worked for one third. More recent though, right? Uh, I started in 2008. I've missed the last couple tours because I've been doing other tours. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I've been with him for quite a while. Yeah, because she was saying like, oh, he doesn't, he didn't know who you were. I was like, yeah, because when I toured with Wednesday, he was with his uh, wife was managing him or whatever, oh, yeah. or tour managing. That's been a while. Yeah, that was that was like 2006, I think, the last time we went on the road with them. I met I met her. Um, yeah, I went to their house and they split up shortly after. Yeah, I saw him after that too. He was like partying pretty hard, and I was like, damn, I guess he must be single. How's he doing now? Like, he's good. He's actually sober and he's yeah, I heard. I don't know, he's, he's on tour right now, right? Uh, no, well, he just got back from. They got back from overseas, like. Two days ago, they're doing it, uh, like a murder dolls thing tonight. Oh, that's right. Because I, uh, my drummer's there. Actually, he was telling me that he was watching. I guess John John Kelly is or playing for them yeah. from Typo, right? That kind of surprised me. I didn't realize that he was doing stuff with them. I had no idea who they were going to get to play drums. I knew it was um, Eric and AC. What are you doing now? Um, mostly uh, I work with Seven Dust. But, uh, I'm here with soil today, so yeah. Go back in September with Seven Dust, do a run with Clutch, and then uh, going over to the UK in December. You guys doing festivals or? Um, no, uh, going over there with all the remains. Oh, okay, cool. I used to know, or I met uh, the chick who used to play with them, Jeannie. Yeah, she's really cool. My drummer actually introduced me to her. At, I think it was like during a NAM convention in, yeah. in California. Still never made it out there to that. Really? It's cool, like a couple times to go and like well, at least like networking. Yeah, you get to see all the cool new equipment and stuff. You're from here? I'm actually out of town. I just travel everywhere because I, I bring the live stream now and I just yeah. videotape everything I do. Are you filming right now? I'm just live. Like, usually I go live and I was doing an interview with him, like, chatting with him about the band and tour and stuff. Yeah, she said Tim was supposed to do something and I just texted him and he's not replying. Yeah, I think she said he's going to bed. He's tired or something, so it's all good. Are you saying bye to everyone? Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. I'll think about it every now and day. What's up, dude? What's up? I was just starting oh, the stream again. Right now. Yeah.
Yeah, sure. Here, I'll get down with you on your level. Wait, your shoe's missing, so I'm going to take mine off, too, so that we can match. All right, we're taking the left shoes off. And Hold on. Come on. No. Let's just do uh, It's my boy, Dro. Oh, you're, you're taping, too. Cool. All right, we'll, we'll do the, the duo stream. Right. So, Dro, his name was Dro before Hydro was popular. But really, so. this is almost like the Sistine Chapel... This, actually, behind. it really is. If you take a look around, it's like... It's amazing. Was this a church or something at some point? It was definitely some... I hope uh, this doesn't fall on my face. Probably, like... <laughs> I sang I sang R. Kelly to it. What's your Snapchat again? You have a bunch of people it's here signing up for it. H... F-E-R-R-E-I-R-A-812. It's... H Ferreira 812. Right. And tell them what you do in the band. I'm the singer for Tantric. I, you guys I, have any questions for him while he's here on the floor with me hanging out? We're I mean, doing this is probably the thing. coolest interview I've ever done because I'm really relaxed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. It would. Uh, do they have a bed? That would be kind of cool. I mean, if I, we had a bed, it might be like a little sexual. I got a funny story about a bed with another band member uh, doing this... Uh, Wild, you remember Wild on E with Brooke Burke? Oh, yeah, for They sure. had a Wild on Bud Budweiser episode where they took us out on, like, a big yacht. And uh, I, they had hookahs in, with these beds that were canopy beds with all the sheets hanging off the side, you know? Nice. So we're in there smoking the hookah and stuff. And guess who comes in? The singer for Smash Mouth. And he's asking us if we have any cocaine for him. Did you have any cocaine for nah, him? No cocaine for him. So I guess you guys didn't make a friend that day. <laughs> I just asked him, I was like, don't you do kids' songs? Like, why are you asking for coke? I mean, where do you think all kids' songs come from? I guess. I mean, maybe that's how you know, he thought I, about that's doing That's the track. weirdest thing. This is why I don't drink or do anything anymore, because there's no appropriate way to approach it. Hey, oh, I love your kids. You mean to ask people or just doing it in general. It, it just, it's really the, the reward is not worth the, the putting yourself out there. For. So you used to party hard and now you don't. I never partied hard, but when I did party, it was perceived as hard. I mean, I guess it depends Political. on who, it's all relative to who you're hanging out with at the time, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, you know, I started touring with Metallica, Kid Rock. Awesome. How was that? I mean, it was really good. It was normal for me. It didn't seem awkward at all. You just kind of get up there and then everything else takes over when you get on stage, right? Yeah, but then you realize that you're like totally <laughs> out <partied. laughs> That's true. Been around a couple bands. I was like, like would you guys like some ginkgo biloba? <laughs> They're like, what is that? It's uh, the Yohimbi bark, right? Yo Yohimbi bark, 29%. Well, then, then there was like, there was all these different words. Cocaine was one of them. But I was never one of those people that partook. It's like, uh, um, did, did you ever see the After Dark video from Typo? Where he got, they got stopped by, I guess it was either immigration or police or something uh, when he was on tour because he had a bunch of vitamins with him. They thought it was a bunch of drugs. Well, my mom is a homeopathic physician. So, so she gives you all this stuff to take with you? Dude, I get more pills than anybody. <laughs> but I, I've never been questioned. It's probably because of my in, innocent face. Your innocent face? Do you guys think he has an innocent face? <laughs> it's on a little bit of a delay, so we wait for them to answer like a few seconds. They're like, that motherfucker fucked me over in 92. How long have you guys, have you been touring for, like... I, I've been touring. I got signed when I was about 15 years old. So I've been touring for about significantly over 20 years. In Tantric, I started it in 1999. I got signed in 2000 by Madonna. Five. You know, Madonna's a man, this bitch. And uh, ever since then, we've been going strong. I mean, some years stronger than others, but, you know, I'm still having a great time. How does it feel to be able to hear like your music just playing on the radio all the time? Because we had a couple songs locally, but we never got it worldwide. So it's got to be like a different feeling. You right? know what? It, it becomes, it's always important. Yeah. It's really good to hear your songs on the radio because it gives you a, a self, a feeling of self-accomplishment, of course. But it, that necessarily doesn't pay your bills 
and and then you have to separate those two like this is what I love to do right this is what pays my bills and I love to do but it always feels great and I've had a fortunate career where it's always been able to pay my bills and is the touring better for you than having your stuff like on radio and all that stuff would you rather just be I don't really you know what here's the thing Tro <laughs> is that I don't really know how all the money trickles in because I don't really pay attention to that because if I paid attention to that I wouldn't be an artist yeah I mean as fun wise like like would, do you have more fun like mentally when you're on tour or when you're doing stuff like I definitely love to be on like tour that? because I like to high five people high fiving is one of my favorite things to high do. five all right that works I used to just run around and hit everybody in the nuts I'm being attacked Into the oh Head my first. balls oh shit Hey, how's it going? I don't know. Just, You're a dead man. Here, give me the camera. So I can Wait, night vision. Scared there for a second. I think I shit my I pants. still can't feel my knots, but I don't know if it's because of the Jaeger or because you hit him that hard. He still won't do the. Oh, attack! Attack! Violence is the answer. All right. Especially when you get cranked in the nuts. Hey. Like Dro and Mubo both just did to me. Which now thinking back is probably not a good idea. Which is now thinking back so brilliant that I always put my nuts in my glove box. Oh, okay. Well, that works. I had this special. When I first trick. made a bunch of money, I had my nuts surgically altered, so they're velcroed onto my body. Oh, that way you can remove them and get back to the later. Anytime, I just throw them in the glove box. Is that how you hit the high notes? Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to divulge my secret. It's actually, I actually add more nuts to my body. To hit the low notes. Oh, okay. Is it like the other band members' nuts, or I, I normally just go through crooners' nuts, like Sinatra. <laughs> me and my whole family, we broke into his fucking burial thing. Soul's nuts. It's like <laughs> memories. Uh, I'm sober. And this is we the can reason still do why. the cool stuff without being wasted. I know. Wasted, I know. Right? Can you imagine if I was like on anything? Well, we wouldn't be laying on the ground because you'd probably be too wasted. Well, I'd be laying on the ground, but it would be completely incoherent. Incoherent. Yeah, probably just a bit. Oh yeah, and we have our shoes off too. That's the other trick. Mine That's are the pink. other trick. Mine are not pink. Mine are all black. So <laughs> for once, you're not the one who brought up nuts first. Yeah, it's his fault. I blame him. Yeah, we had a cool trick that we did. There's two. One of them is you say, "Do you want to check out my new tattoo?" And when you go to show them your shoulder, I have a new tattoo. Yeah. See, but when you oh, go is to that show one them, your, the horse bit you on the nuts and then you squeeze her? No, no, no. You go like this. You go, you go check out my new tattoo. And when they're looking at your new tattoo, you take your hand and then you smack them. But see, I smack the nuts. But since you use see, the I'm extra from nuts, Detroit, you can take when, them. where where that happens, then you immediately get shot and thrown into. Yeah, you don't want to do that in Detroit. I'm like smoking Snapchat. weed, doing all sorts of stuff. All right, you Snapchat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing an interview with my friend. I'm the Dro. Hey, what's up? And I'm Snapchatting him. Like live feeding? Yeah, so it's like a, a meta thing, you know? It's almost Is this probably the most unique interview you've ever done? Yeah, actually. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever talked to anybody while laying on the floor like this. So but dude, seriously, cool. what a fucking beautiful vision. Yeah, let's flip man. this over and show everyone. Bomb, dude. They can't even really tell how high that is. Yeah. But it's totally dope. I think we're the last ones here, dude. All right, I'll get up and get going. Um, let me flip Anyways. this back around so we Listen, can say, October oh yeah, YouTube 5th. sensation, that's what's up. October 5th, our new record comes out. It's called Tantric, the name of the band, Mercury Retrograde, which we will all be in. Yeah, you guys go check it out. And what, what about the rest of the tour? Where are you guys playing? Tell people to uh, We're going to be touring with uh, Puddle Mud for a long time. And then in October... We start uh, doing our headlining tour, but you know what? Here's the thing. If you've never seen us play and you're curious, just Snapchat me, H-F-E-R-R-E-I-R-A-812, and ask me for some free tickets and maybe... Yeah, just hit them up, and you just go online and see where they're playing on tour, and then hit them up, and then show them some uh, some boobies or something. Maybe you'll get some free tickets. N none of that is needed. okay. No boobies, never mind. I mean, I'll take them, <laughs> but none of that is needed. 
Bra- I'm just bra- trying to help out, man. You're not supposed to ruin it. I know, it. but you never know what kind of boobies you're going to get. You know, but that's like, the point. Maybe you'll get some, like, big floppy ones, and then you can be like, oh, look, pancakes. I mean, listen, Free let's, tickets let's, for just, pancakes. let's just let's hold on to the boobies. All right, fine. You want to hold them? You can just hold them. Just text me. Give them Ask for permission first, though, before you hold them. All right. All right, see you guys later. Good night. Bye, Joe. Bye. Peace out. Thanks for doing this.